In this video, we unbox and mess around with a flying fish. Wait, what? No guys, I haven't lost my marbles or this hasn't suddenly become the fishing channel. I got myself a flying fish HPS 1 to 10 scale brushless for some fun speed runs. I reckon it should do really, really well actually. So without further ado, let's get this box here open and see what's inside. Here she is guys, and isn't it absolutely stunning? What an awesome looking car. I think the car at the shell is based on a Nissan 350Z, but don't quote me on that. It just looks like it might be. There's nothing in it to say that, so that's just my guess, but this thing is gorgeous. Let's, um, Take the shell off and have a look inside. And it's almost a beautiful inside. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. It's got some, the pro version, which this is, has got some aluminium parts like aluminium anodized shocks and anodized top brace and funky wheels I'll just turn this a bit like that here we go it's also got a speed control capable I believe it says on it anyway of doing a 3S LiPo we shall have to test that out and see it has got a brushless motor in behind there a 3300 kV brushless motor it also came with a 2S 30C 3500 milliamp lipo battery hard case and it also came with of course controller there we go Standard controller, nothing too special, so I won't bore you with that. It also came with standard instructions and a bunch of stickers. I'll actually, I'll grab those stickers and we'll just, yeah. I'm trying out a new way of filming here, guys, instead of having to hold it all the time and shaking the camera around like crazy. I'm trying something different, which not massively working that well, but hey, I'm learning. All new stuff. So there we go. There's the sticker sheet. It's actually quite large, but that's not too bad. So sticker sheet actually comes with another sticker sheet that that's just basically all... Um, windscreen stuff and that is actually already on the shell it's also got a T connector or Dean's connector which I happen to be using at the moment a lot of people don't like them but I use them at the moment just easiest for me um yeah so next thing with this guys is I will I'm planning on doing some speed runs with it tomorrow so leave down in the comments what speed you reckon it's going to do and see how close you get my prediction is going to be and I'm putting it here now I reckon 35 kilometers an hour with a 2s lipo am I wrong put it down in the comments and we there is the shell over there cool i don't know whether this new system is going to work very well but i'm just giving it a shot let me know what you think of it 
All right, guys, we're back out at the road where we did our test run with the WL Toys 144001. And it is another lovely day, just a little bit windy. Hopefully that won't cause any issues, but we are ready to go. So let's get the car out on the road. My wingmen for today are Luke and Alex. Yeah, good day, guys. G'day. This time I'm going to score it. Drift's well. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. That was a bit of a clearer. Let's see if I can get it straight. Pretty rough. Every time I do a slight correction, it just it just spins out. That is fun. All right, we'll try another run. Didn't get very far, but run number two. Alright guys, we'll work out, we'll see now what speed we actually managed to achieve. I didn't actually get very far straight every time I did a slight correction, it just spun out. So, what's our top speed there, say? Oh, alright. Whoa. It looks like it's fine.
right, guys, that was the unboxing and first running of the flying fish. Leave your thoughts down in the comments as to what you thought of it. Um, I'm a bit ambivalent, actually. I could go either way. Uh, there were some good points to it, some bad points, but probably more bad points, actually. Um, the um, wheels are really bad quality. I hit the gutter a couple of times, but not massively hard, and it was enough to actually break two of the wheels, like take a couple of good chunks out of a couple of the wheels. Um, they're still usable, but they will need to be replaced, unfortunately. And the body shell was a huge surprise for me. It actually, looking at it a bit closer, there's like a couple of areas where it's just, really split quite badly and it's very brittle I've had many many RC cars and many many body shells and I've never had that level of splitting and there's even a couple of bits where it's kinked that level of splitting and kinking after one short run that I've had stuff go through lots of punishment and nowhere near that level of damage so um and at, at the minute without making any adjustments it's pretty hard to do any sort of speed run with because um i need to find a new spot for a start that road is way too rough there's bits of gravel all over it and stuff that throws the car way offline every time it hits one it hits one and then just goes boom almost 90 degrees shooting off in the other direction and um because it's i think designed as a drift car the rear end tends to come out on it when you when you apply the throttle which is a bit of an issue being wanting to do it as a speed car but i think a lot of that is just adjustment and i want to adjust the steering trim and stuff again as well and so I'm not giving up on it yet. I really like the looks of the car and want to do some more adjustments on it. So once I've found the new spot, I've got a couple of ideas that we might choose. But once I find a new spot, we'll um, have another go at doing a speed run. So, But 45 kilometres an hour for its first ever speed run isn't a bad effort. So we'll leave it at that. So... As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome along and please consider liking and, and subscribing and smashing that bell so you don't miss any of my future content. And that will be about it. So it's Matt at RC Chronicles signing off. See you later, guys.